Hello everyone and welcome back to Create Island. So far in this series, we've used the Create mod to help us farm different resources, bring life and movement to our builds, and even make a ferry system to connect our main island to our airport. But what if I told you we could use it to build things for us? So today we're going to explore the Create mod a little bit further and use it to build our very own village. Now if we come and take a look at our side of the island over here, you can see there's a massive empty space that needs filling in with some buildings. Like there's definitely quite a bit of terraforming to do as well but before we get into that i think we should take a little look at how create can build buildings for us and of course to do that we're going to need to craft a couple of things first thing being this schematic cannon which is pretty easy to make just give me one second there we go and we're also going to need a schematic table again nice and easy and i'm pretty sure we're going to need a schematic and quill all right schematic just light blue dye and some paper lovely and then let's combine that with a feather yo let's go all right this is about as far as i've got we're gonna have to figure this one out together but I guess this will also be interesting for those of you that also don't know what they're doing. So we have our schematic table where we have no schematics. Okay. And we've also got our cannon thing as well. And oh, wow, I cannot wait to use this thing. But I think with this guy... Oh, yeah. I think this is what we use to actually make a schematic. So maybe let's just grab a few temporary blocks here. And let's just maybe make like a little box or something. Just something to test this out with. We'll just make the world's worst house. All right, there we go. Now, I think with this, we can actually make a schematic. Um, what do we do? Right click here. Oh, yeah. First position set. And I want to make it come out. Maybe shift control. Oh, oh yeah. Holding control. That's good. I think um, maybe like that. All right. We've got a schematic here, but we don't want any grass in it. I'm pretty sure we take this to the schematic table. Oh, schematic name. We'll call this um, we'll call this test. Save it. Did that work? I'm confused. Um, oh, wait. Test is there now. Oh, we have it. OK, so with this. Oh, OK. So this is how we place the schematic down. All right. Well, I guess let's just chuck this like here for now. There it is. But there's no actual blocks there. OK, so I think now's the point we can go into the cannon and we put this thing in here and then go. Hello. Oh, wait, it needs resources, right? So you do that just by plonking a chest down, chucking your resources in and now go all oh, out of gunpowder. Oh, OK, right. Yep. This needs gunpowder. I probably should have known that. Let's just grab like six or something not too sure how much this is actually going to use but we'll just throw this in the cannon oh it filled up there okay oh 1999 shots oh okay so it doesn't really use that much gunpowder huh right can we just go now oh oh look at that oh my god it's actually working oh it's literally just building the world's best house oh this is so awesome will it do the top yes oh that is so cool and then we can just eat it OK, good. I mean, I do plan on building some better houses than this. Oh, let me get our empty schematic back again. OK, so I guess each time we want to make a schematic, we have to turn it back into a schematic and quill, which is just adding a feather. That's pretty easy. Oh, OK. Right. I guess we all know how we're going to be building our houses now. It's just a matter of actually getting some schematics for the houses themselves, right? And well, between episodes, I've been quite busy. I just got to find myself a creeper. Oh, here we go. Oh. And here we are in my creative test world. Yeah, maybe just ignore that boat design. We were just getting things figured out. But if we take a look over in this direction, you can see between episodes, I've been coming up with some different house designs. Just something super simple, nice and cute. We've got three different variants of this one here. And I've also come up with a bigger house design as well. Looking pretty cool. But what we can actually do here is make a schematic in the creative world, just like this, and then save this thing in a schematic table. So we'll call this small house one. And then we should be able to access that schematic schematic over in the create island world now as you can see i come up with a bunch of different designs here kind of just altering the block palette changing a few little detail pieces but what i think might be best to do is use world edit to make a copy of this and we'll just paste this over here and what i think i might do is just take out all the different detail pieces so we'll get rid of the roof color we'll get rid of the chimney we'll get rid of this little lean to thing and we'll just strip this little house back to absolute basics and we'll get a little schematic of this as well just like that and we'll call this one basic house and save that because we can use the cannon just to build these sort of base houses. Then I can come in and change out the roof palette, add some extra little detail pieces. Because all these little lean-tos, some extra little building shapes are probably going to be relevant to the layout of the village. And well, I've not really planned that far ahead. Yep, I forgot I was wearing this stupid hat. But yeah, I've not really planned that far ahead with this village. So I think if we can use the create cannon just to come up with the sort of base of these buildings, and then we can do all the sort of fun detailing stuff. And I think that's probably the best way to do it. So I'm just going to strip this bigger house back as well. I think we'll probably end up having different roof 
roof pallets on this thing. And I mean, the back isn't exactly detailed up anyway. But I think for now, this should be good. We'll just save this big house schematic and head back to the island world. And just like that, we should be able to access our schematics now. Oh yeah, we got our big house, basic house. Let's try to do this one. Oh, yo, look at that. So now, for instance, we should be able to place this thing down just like here. Oh, look at that. Can we still move it? Oh yeah, for hold control and do the mouse wheel. Oh, okay, that's so cool. Right, now we're not actually going to build the houses yet, but there is still a little bit more we can do here. If we put our schematic in, there is actually a way that we can find out what resources we need to collect to build it. And to do that, we're just going to need to craft ourselves a book. There we go. And I think if we just chuck this in the cannon, it should write us a book with a material list, which honestly would be pretty helpful. So we just shift click this in. <gasps> Yes, material checklist. So let me just read this thing. And yo, look at that. So we need six barrels, six blue orchids, cobble, cobblestone, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's five pages of materials. Okay. But, I mean, there's nothing really major here. I mean, the thing we need the most of is spruce slabs. And, well, this stuff is just so easy to get, honestly. All thanks to Froggy's greenhouse over there. But for now, we're not going to be building any houses yet. Because before we do that, I think I'm going to get a bit of a village layout going on here. And before I can do the layout, well, I've got so much terraforming to do. Like this side of the island is just such a mess. I mean, the slope isn't exactly smooth. We've got this massive hole here. We've got random endermen blocks scattered around. And I've still got stuff left over here from the old tree farm. So yeah, all this needs sorting out. And I think the best way to do that, I think it's probably a time lapse. Let's go. All right, we have the terrain looking a lot cleaner now. Let's take a little fly up. And as you can see, this place is looking a whole lot better. We've got a nice amount of space to work with here now. But at this point, I think it's time to start planning out where some of the buildings are going to go. And to do that, I think I want to plan to extend a path out from our area over here. So from here, I just want to come up this hill over and back down. And then just snake this around over in this direction, maybe to like here. And this will be one of the main roads through the village, I think. What we can also do is come down over this way and just start coming down the hill. And then it's just a matter of plotting out a few more paths around the village. And I think this should be pretty good. I think at this point we have lots of obvious spaces for different buildings and stuff, of which I've actually planned a couple more off camera. So you'll see those when they're all built up. But I think at this point, let's maybe try doing one of these houses together. Just give me a quick second to craft up some of these materials. All right, we're just about ready to test this thing out. At least I hope so. I think for now we're just going to do the basic small house, which we have one over here. I'm not sure that's the right spot. Let's maybe just chuck it like... I don't know, here. Maybe just line this up properly. Maybe to like there. That should be good. Now we just got to smack our cannon down and a chest. And I can hear so many mobs. Oh, <laughs> it's like four zombies under here. Yeah, should probably light this place up. But I think this should be all the resources that we need to build this thing. So we just get all of that in the chest. Chuck our schematic in. Chuck some gunpowder in. And I guess hit play. Oh, it's happening. Yo. All right, if this wouldn't make a cool time lapse, then I'm not sure what will. Let's go. Yo, let's go. For some reason, it did these doors last. Not too sure what's going on there. But look at this. We've got a full-on house now. Oh, this is so cool. Obviously, still got room to do interiors and stuff. Um, I'm sure we'll get to all of these interiors. Probably. Probably not. But how cool is this thing? Still got a few resources left over here. I didn't really get the exact numbers right of all the blocks, but I made sure that we had enough to actually build up the house. But of course, we still have this roof thing to fill in here. And at this point, we can kind of just take our picker blocks. What have we got a lot of? Um, maybe we'll go with some moss, some green concrete and some green terracotta. And let's also grab some bone meal. We can do something similar to the create workshop over there. But detailing this up should be just as easy as filling in the roof. Just like this. And we got a pretty cute house. Hey, look at that. This is going to look so cool. We've got lots of different roof colors and stuff. And of course, we have a bunch of different shaped houses as well. But at this point, oh, I just got to repeat this process just a whole bunch more times because we have an enormous space to fill out here. Now, I don't think all of this is going to be houses. I want to leave some room for like fields and stuff. So I think more at the top of the hill is where we're going to have a constant concentration of buildings, but I've got quite a lot of stuff to figure out here. And as I'm sure you can all imagine, we're doing it in another time lapse. Let's go.
Okay, we got quite a few houses in now. Honestly, I thought that was going to take absolutely ages, but getting all of these houses in, I only took an hour to build. And it was kind of after that all these were put in that I figured out, well, maybe I could have just used more than one of these cannons. Maybe had two or three running at the same time would have been smart. But we all know I'm not really that smart. But as you can see, with all of these new houses, they don't contain any roof blocks yet. So I think that's next up on our list of things to do. Maybe pick out two or three different pallets. That should really start making this village pop off. Plus all the other little details and stuff I want to add too. And not to mention this huge empty space out here as well. But before we carry on with any of that, there's a little bit of housekeeping I want to do from last episode, where of course we built our ferry system. And right now this thing's just called a... Uh... And I asked you guys for some name suggestions, because Boat isn't exactly a very cool name. And we got a suggestion from Wayward Bard, and the name they suggested? The SS Friendship. Oh, I love it so much. Hopefully Froggy likes that too. Right, sheep? Get back to work. And I think I need to relink this board. Yep, somehow I kind of messed this thing up, but uh, yeah, hopefully it'll fix itself. Probably not, I'll figure it out later. But with the boat name out of the way, let's head to a storage terminal and pick out some blocks for those roofs over there. Now, I think mangrove would be pretty nice. So let's get a little bit of that. Maybe some of this deep state would be cool as well. Oh, bricks. Yeah, let's make some bricks. And of course we can do our moss one as well. What the heck? What was that? Oh, <gasps> trident guy. Ow, give me that trident. I beg. Come on. Here we go. Trident. Did I get it? No. Right, I'm going to fill in these roofs with some of these blocks that I just got. Maybe I'll add a few other little details as well. Might get some of the lean-tos in. All right, and just like that, it's all done. All the roofs are filled in now. We've got a few different palettes and stuff, which I still might mix up a little bit. I mean, some of this could use some texturing. The moss needs some bone meal. I'll probably get some chimneys on there as well, just like these sort of ones. But on some of these houses, I've added some lean-tos as well. So we've got one there. we got one over there. There's some more scattered around here, I'm pretty sure. But next up, I want to address this building here, which at the moment is just like a random tower but i actually want this to be a windmill so i left a big amount of space here on this side of the island and with this i want to tidy up the terrain and maybe make some big wheat fields so a windmill here is going to be absolutely perfect now i've made a windmill bearing and some of these windmill sails and i'm pretty sure that's the one i'm going to need to make this work so let's get the windmill bearing in there oh of course it's the wrong way around windmill bearing here there we go and let's put some blocks here maybe a trapdoor on the front and i gotta try and make some sort of Cool windmill shape. Maybe something like that? Or oh, is this gonna... Oh, it's not come out far enough. Oh boy. Right, maybe come out like this, then the trapdoor. Then here should be pretty good, I think. Why can't I put that there? Uh, give me a second. I mean, this shape's kind of weird, but at the same time, I do kind of like it. Right, let me mess with this a little bit more and I'll show you what I got when I'm done. Yep, you know what? I actually do quite like that. Now that it's moving, it does actually look pretty cool. As women wasn't exactly for anything, at least I don't think so anyway. But I guess we've got a nice little bit of crate power over here at the village now, just in case we do need it. But before we carry on, I'm going to need to pick up a little bit more food because I've only got one burger left right now. So that means we get to pay a quick visit to McDrift's. The service here isn't exactly friendly, as I remember. Hi, guys. Any burger? Burgers, please. Um, should I just help myself? Uh, thank you. Yep, Froggy is employing some pretty weird stuff in here. But hey, a whole new stack of burgers. That should be enough to keep me going for the rest of this episode. And honestly, probably the next one too. These things last so long. But yeah, with the windmill out of the way, I mean, I could either move on to detailing the actual village part. I mean, there's not really a lot of life in here at the moment. Or I could go ahead and get the fields done, which is probably going to be quite a big grind. But I kind of think that's what I might do now. Just get it out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's work on the fields. Now, I did say before, I was thinking about doing a whole load of wheat. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have a whole bunch of seeds to do that. Do we? Oh yeah, we've got like 750 seeds. But thanks to the greenhouse, we also have a whole bunch of different flowers as well. And I'm kind of feeling the flowers. Maybe a bunch of these as well. And also a whole bunch of leaves. Now we did do a whole bunch of flower fields not too long ago, but that was over on the survival let's play world. Well, I made an absolutely gigantic farmland area. So maybe we could take a little bit of inspiration from that. And let's maybe do like a little test down over this direction. Where it's pretty simple. All I really did was make a sort of field outline with some leaves. I'll make this fairly big, just hugging along this path so of course we are eventually going to have one coming along here so we'll connect that up like that and then let's just say we'll go with these blue flowers or blue orchids and literally just fill in all of this space There we go. And just like that, we have a lovely blue flower field. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's actually really cool. I just got to tidy up all of this terrain. Maybe replace this sand with some grass as well. Wait, what the heck is going on over there? Oh, she's building. And you know what? So am I. Time lapse. And 
And here we go. All the fields are in. I ended up with just going like full on flowers for this. Because if we take a little fly up here, this section is just looking so colorful now. Oh, look at that. I love it. It's so good. So yeah, I'm super pleased with how these fields have come out. What I've also done is actually rooted some storage up into the village. So we can access all our items from here now. This is actually just above where the old tree farm was. So this was pretty easy to install. The wires are just already there. But another thing that I've done is actually got all the paths sorted out. I've got some slabs in for the stairs. And I've got coarse dirt running on the edges of the path. So this is now pretty much in keeping with what we have going on over in the main area over here. I do still need to finish connecting it up and stuff. But that's right. We're getting there. We should probably add some flowers and some grass as well. But we'll get right onto that. Because now we're going to start working on the detailing phase of this village. Where I'm not really too sure what I want to do yet. Though I say that, there is actually one thing I do want to do. And that's going to involve flying over to Froggy side of the island because she has a whole bunch of different colored sheep which i think could actually be pretty useful for us so let's just share some of these guys all right that's quite a lot of wool might want a little bit more white though but i do have some white sheep over in my area oh and look at the village from here as well oh this is cool oh that also reminds me i also spent a little bit of time texturing up some of the roofs we've got some granite in this one some netherrack in with a mangrove and i found some leftover chimneys in the system which i added as well it's all adding to the details right let's grab some of this wool i also want to grab some of these template blocks oh, we've got six of these slabs can we make any more yes now i think a nice little detail on some of these houses we're trying to make some nice little sort of market store attached to them. So have a little awning like that. We can bring in our template slabs and turn these into wool slabs. Yo, look at that. Let's go. You know what? Let's grab some of these spruce trap doors as well. And let's maybe connect up something like this just acting as a support. And we need something across the front here as well. Let's add some extra trapdoors there. And maybe some stairs running across the front. That should be pretty cool. Let's run these like this, maybe. You know what? Get rid of that. Let's actually just run them along here. The little door that leads into the house. Little window. Maybe get some extra supports for the awning. Chuck a few barrels around. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just need to find something to actually sort of go on these shelves. But right now, that market's not really selling anything. All right, let's grab some cheese. This observatory globe. And these signs. Why not? All right, can we place this down? Yes, and this globe. Put a sign up there and one here. Okay, for some reason it doesn't go on a stair. Oh, but that's fine. It's like a little market stall. Look at that. Let's maybe get a little seat in there for someone to sit down on. Maybe some fence gates to act as sort of like a shop door. That probably doesn't make sense, but uh, mm -hmm. and we can of course fill in the window with a little bit of glass. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cute, you know. Don't mind that at all. And just to polish off this little area, let's get some bone meal. Maybe some of these drip leaves. Let's maybe make some hay bales as well. And let's also grab some stone buttons and these flowers too. So I think what we have coarse dirt here on a put some of these stone buttons around. Kind of just makes this look a little bit dirtier and more worn. Then let's bone meal where we have some grass. Maybe not that much. Let's throw in some drip. Wait, you can't place drip leaves down? Oh, uh, they probably need to be near water, right? Well, we'll forget about those. I want to place some of these white flowers down instead. Hey, that's looking cute. I like it. Oh, don't forget the hay bells. Let's pile up some of these in this overhang thingy. Bit of bone meal, bit of stone buttons. Yeah, this is looking really nice. I'm liking it. Just need to add this level of detail around the rest of the village. You can see there's quite a few obvious spots where we need to do some stuff here. So I think I'm going to go away for a little while, get a little bit more progress made on this. And I'll show you what I got when it's done. Oh! Oh, and just like that, the village is all detailed up. You can see I got a bunch of different market stalls scattered around now, and also a whole bunch of other detail pieces. We've got stuff like barrels, bits of rope. Of course, we've got all our street lights. Got this cool frog umbrella. I mean, maybe this can be Froggy's house or something. But yeah, I got a few of these campfire overhangs. I think there's another one over here. We've got a nice little cooking market stall thing. Honestly, I've probably gone a little bit more overboard on this than I actually first anticipated. But I gotta say, this place is looking pretty sick. I tried to use like as much modded stuff as I could find, or at least that was easy enough to craft anyway. I really love these tools. They're so cool. And these other little trinkets for sale. And also these cool garland things. I saw this in the storage system. This one's like cats or something. And then I saw that you can make all these sort of other ones as well. So I found this cool sunflower one and put these around the village. I think they add a nice little bit of decoration. And yeah, overall, this village is looking so nice, but it still is missing a couple of things. And one thing that I think is really missing is, well, trees. Now, you know, we could go ahead, just plant some saplings down, bow meal them up, just get some nice normal Minecraft trees, or we could build custom trees. And when I say we could build them, well, I mean, we could get Create to build them for us, right? Now, between clips there, I've also hopped into my creative world again, and I've gone ahead and designed a couple of custom trees. Now, see here, I've got a small spruce, 
And I've also got a medium spruce. So let's just get the small one for now. Thank you. And let's try find a good spot for one of these to go. I mean, maybe like back here, would that work? Oh yeah, you can see it there. Look at that. So I think you can see this is definitely going to take our area to the next level, getting a few of these scattered around. I've also got one that's a little bit bigger as well. But you can see, obviously, this isn't actually here yet as we can walk right through it. Because of course, we need to go and use our cannon again. But before we do that, we're actually going to need to collect a few materials. I mean, all the wood we're going to have, of course, all the granite we should have. But I'm pretty sure we don't have any spruce leaves. I mean, maybe it's worth checking the system first. Spruce leaves, we have one. Brilliant. All right, so actually just give me some iron so I can make a few shears. And let's actually just nip out and try find a spruce forest. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's one over in this direction. Because I mean, we're only building on the island and I don't really mind decimating a forest. Oh, yes, I knew it. it was right here. Right, let's actually just park up on this beach. Do you know what? I don't know if I'm going to get lost. So let's just bring the ship with us. And let's just collect some leaves. All right, this is probably a little bit overkill on the leaves. Either that or I have nowhere near enough. But let me head back home and craft up the rest of the bits I need to do the trees. And we'll kick it into another time lapse. Let's go. I love this cannon. This literally has to be my new favorite thing in Minecraft ever because, oh my, look at all these trees. I've literally just got them everywhere now. I may or may not have got a little bit carried away making all of these, but yo, this area is looking so much better now. I'll tell you what, let's actually just hop up in the ship. I kind of just want to get an overview of the whole village now. Oh yes, look at this. This is so good. Oh man, custom trees is something that I usually put off because, well, they're kind of boring to make in my opinion. Don't really have a whole bunch of fun making them, but now with a schematic cannon. I mean, this literally took about 30 minutes to throw all these up. It's usually it take me 30 minutes to build one or two, probably. But guys, I'm so happy with all these trees. It's definitely taking this area to another level, that's for sure. We might have to spend some time extending this across the rest of the island at some point. Maybe next episode. But there is still one more thing that I want to get done in the village. And as you'll see here, there's quite an obvious area for something to go. I don't think it's going to be anything major, but these guys might have something to do with it. And that is, of course, try and make a little fish dock. Because do you know what? I haven't done any fishing since episode one. I mean, I've made a fishing boat. It's my favorite pastime. I'm the world's greatest fisherman. How can I call myself that if I haven't actually done very much fishing in this world? So let's grab a few different blocks here. Probably some spruce things as well would be good. We'll grab some of these. Maybe a bit of this. I don't know. Let's just grab like everything. Oh, let's also get some campfires. I've got some of these left over from doing the village. And let's just try throw up a little fishing dock in this area here. Now, of course, this is pretty far above the water, but I think we should be right fishing from this height. So I have something like this. Let's maybe try and break this up a little bit. Let's check in some of these chipped spruce wood block things. It's kind of a nice different texture. Oh, campfires probably aren't going to work, are they? They're on the wrong height. Hey, I tell you what, let's maybe have like a little campsite here. We'll get some chairs put next to it or something. But let's start building up a few pillars here. Then we'll use spruce underwater just so it kind of looks a little bit wet. And then we'll build the rest up just with regular oak logs up to there. And then we'll probably end up getting like barrels on there or something, I think. I guess we could take inspiration from the fish and dog on the let's play world just got to get the rest of these pillars in first though All right, pillars in, looking uh, kind of weird. Ah, but you know what? It's actually kind of cool. Right, give me a few barrels, please. And do we have any chains? We have one. It should be pretty easy to craft, though, right? Oh, yeah, 19. That should be good. And we'll get a couple of chairs as well, because these can be for chilling next to the campfire. Just be careful not to burn your legs. <laughs> Feet are literally in the fire. But let's get our barrels on top of these pillars here. And then we'll get our chains in between. Actually, we might have to do something like this there. Yeah, that kind of works. Just fill these ones in too. And then... Let me try getting these spruce supports, getting these like that. And then would it look weird if you put these shelves in the middle, like there? Well, this might look cool. Oh, yeah, you know what? I do actually like that. It's kind of like rickety and rustic. I mean, that is kind of the vibe right now. So we'll roll with that. Just connect the rest of this path up to the dock. Get some slabs on the barrels. And I think all we need now is maybe just a little bit of lighting. Just have some of these street lights left over. Oh, yeah, we got loads. I guess Froggy's been making them too. But yeah, let's get a little bit more light over here. Maybe get a lamppost on the dock. We've got a few more of these crates here as well as I chuck some of these around. It's a nice bit of extra decoration, I suppose. And yeah, now we've got a nice little place to fish, which do you know what? I think I've earned it today. I'm going to have a little bit of a peaceful fishing break. Oh, it's been a busy episode. Hello? Anyone around? Hello? Hello? 
Froggy? Leave it to you to be fishing off the side of the dock. Yeah, just thought I'd, you know, about this whole village and take a little break. World's great. Did, did you put this sign right here for yourself? Excuse me, I've never seen this sign in my life. Is, is that me? Does that mean that you're performing at the tavern tonight? What tavern? I built a tavern, like, right over there. There's, there's a show going on tonight, live entertainment. I assume that this is for that. Wait, I'm performing at a tavern I've never heard of, and I'm fishing. I'm doing a fishing show. Fishing show at the tavern tonight. I mean, I've never seen this thing in my life. Is, are you sure that's me? I don't, can you take off your helmet? Uh, yeah. It doesn't really look like you, but it must be you because I don't look like that. So, well, actually the beard kind of looks similar. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not sure that is actually me, but I am the world's greatest fisherman. So wait, is there a pencil behind your ear? Yeah. Has that always been there? Yeah. Oh. It's for planning my builds. You do a lot of drawing? Yeah, sometimes. I can draw a good Homer Simpson. All right, so when is this show then that I'm meant to be fishing at? Okay, it's right over there at the tavern tonight. Tonight, okay. So I guess when sun goes down, meet you there? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be waiting outside for you. Oh boy, I'll go get prepared. Good luck. Ugh. And welcome to my show. I'm the world's greatest fisherman, and I guess we're going to start off with a few jokes. Okay, here we go. Uh, why are fish so easy to weigh? Because they have their own scales. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Um, that didn't go down well. Um, how do shellfish get to the hospital? In a clambulance. <laughs> Okay, also not gone down very well. Kind of choking here. Uh, 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 okay, right. Uh, where does a fish keep his money? In a riverbank. All right, okay, this is really not going well. We'll just try one more. We'll just try one more. Um, what do you call a fish who practices medicine? No, not a doctor fish. That's a stupid answer, you stupid turtle. It's a sturgeon. A sturgeon, like surgeon. Okay, right, I'm just gonna just do some fishing. Extreme fishing, cue the music. Um, you embarrassing me here. No, wait for it. Just enjoy the music. Just enjoy the music. There we go. One bluegill. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I've been blocked down. We'll just finish it off with one more joke. Uh, what do fish take to stay healthy? Vitamin C. As in C. S-E-A. Okay. You've all been wonderful. And I've been the world's greatest fisherman. Bye-bye. Woo. Okay, you're awesome. Look down. Okay. Froggy, I don't think anyone here liked my performance, like, at I all. I thought it was funny. I tried my best. Am I getting anything? They're all... Everyone's looking at me. Yeah, they, they really didn't like it. They really... Uh, I mean, well, am I getting anything out of this? Like... Um, the, the beer and the pizza? I mean, you could stay upstairs in one of our exclusive tavern rooms for free. Yeah, I mean... Sure, I kind of need to just sleep this off and just start a new episode, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So the Ugh. the inn is right up here. Right. Okay, just ring for service, I suppose. Yep. Uh, I mean, can't you serve me without me ringing? No, you're going to ring. Okay. Oh, a customer. All right. What can I do for you today? I mean, you just said that I could just sleep here for the rest of this oh, episode. Okay. okay, that's right. That's right. Okay, so let me check what rooms we have available. Okay, okay. Now, I can offer you the iron room for free. The iron room? I mean, is that good? Wait. Well, there you can upgrade to the exclusive either diamond or emerald room, but it will cost you. I mean, I just kind of did that whole performance and, you know? The emerald room over here, I guess I could upgrade you to that for free. Um, now, this is a little bit bigger. It's meant for a family. So there are no safety exits in here. There's just some fake windows that I made with paintings. Okay, right. No, I'm not staying in a room with no safety exits. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. So... Oh, this is this is much more my style. Oh, bathtub? Yeah, there is a bath. There is a safe if you need to put anything away while you're staying at the inn. There's a music player up at the top. And there's also a desk in case you wanted to use that pencil behind your ear and sketch out some new builds. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, well, I'll take this one then, I suppose. Okay. And um, I'm just going to be taking a bath now, so... Um... Yeah, well, sleep well. Uh, breakfast is not complimentary, and it's also pizza. So, see you in the morning. Okay. All right, see you next episode. Bye!